just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. All right, I believe uh, we have Dante Whitner uh, ready to roll here. Are you set for this, Paul? All right. Yep. Okay. Uh, Sully, am I getting the heads up? Let's do it. It's time for the Dante Whitner Show on 1077 The Bone. Brought to you by Livermore Harley Davidson and Harley Davidson San Jose. See them for your all new 2014 Harley today. And by Bud Light. Official sponsor of the NFL. And now, here's Dante Whitner. All right, we have uh, the great Dante Whitner with us. Dante, how you doing this week? I'm doing great. You know, ran over a little long on my left, so that's why we're a little late, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? What was the uh, the final thing you did in your uh, lift routine? Uh, little calf raises and uh, hip raises. Right. You know, today was just like an auxiliary day, not really a heavy day, just a... You know, get the blood flowing. So it wasn't practice. really like an upper body day then? No, it was lower auxiliary, so just small muscles in hey, the lower body. Hey, Dante, I've got to give you some credit because I don't think a lot of people realize this. And Oh, you still got the cough. You okay? Because yeah, it's, it's almost gone. Well, And the reason I bring that up, I didn't know you still had the cough, but uh, approximately three weeks ago, I guess, you uh, you started coughing, and, and you mentioned you were feeling a little under the weather. I hear at one point, we've got our spies on you, that at one point they thought you had walking pneumonia and you still played. Is that right? Yeah. Something Holy like that. But God. How are you able to uh, perform at such a high level? you got walking pneumonia. Most people would be, like, bedridden for weeks. <laughs> Excuse wow. me. Well, you know, I understand that we have a task. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I am a leader on this football team and a leader – Leader of the secondary, right. so you know, I, I I feel like I can do it. If I was like bedridden or felt like I couldn't breathe or you know just unable to handle it, I wouldn't play. My mom wouldn't allow me to play, but you know, getting better and better. The cough is the last thing. Right. The cough is the last thing that goes away. They said I had antibiotics and. Yeah. You know, all these things they put me on, but the cough is the last thing that's going to go away. You know, uh, you bring up your mom a lot. You were talking about your mom and 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 the uh, <laughs> I guess the approval for getting your name changed. You just mentioned your mom now. Are you going to do a Campbell's Soup commercial with your mom one you day, kind of like uh, Donovan <laughs> yeah. McNabb? Well, hopefully we win the Super Bowl, and I run a couple of interceptions back and win MVP of it, and then, you know, Chucky's Campbell's Soup come and ask me, and I'll say, yeah, and let her do the <laughs> entire performance. You know, uh, I'm taking a look at your Twitter site, and uh, you posted yesterday, good team practice today. I've never seen you really post about a practice. What made it such a good practice yesterday? Well, there was barely any footballs that hit the ground on the offensive side of the ball. Nobody jumping off sides. Everybody being in tune and focused on, you know, what they're supposed to do on defense. You know, we had a really, really good practice. You know, guys were, you know, where they were supposed to be, making the right calls, no mental errors. You know, so whenever you come out on a Wednesday like that and you everybody's really crisp, that means that, you know, we have a good opportunity to go into Sunday's game and win, and that's why I posted that. You hey. Go ahead. Well, you know, I was going to say, Dante, do you watch football at all on TV, like when you guys aren't playing because you had the bye week last week? Yeah, that's the only thing I watch. I don't really watch sports shows and stuff. I just watch the actual games. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I watched a lot of games last weekend. And the reason I bring that up is, and, and Paul and I will talk about this every now and then uh, when we're off the air, can you believe how freaking lucky Seattle is? I mean, legitimately, they should have lost that game last week. And there's been three or four games. You're just like, how in the heck did they win that? Well, you know, a lot of games in the NFL come down to one or two plays. Yeah. You know, a lot of games are decided by three points or, or, or less. You know, yeah. so, you know, it can go either way sometimes. You know, last week, Tampa kind of had them. St. Louis had them the week before, and, you know, they found a way to win the football games, and that's what good football teams do. So, you know, hopefully we can do the same. Yeah. You know, uh, also looking at your uh, Twitter site, I can't figure this one out, uh, but apparently you tweeted last night, you can't put lipstick on a bear, but you can put a collar on a dog. And <laughs> 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 yeah, what the hell does that mean? Well, I came up with that. I was actually watching Doug Dynasty. <laughs> and one of the brothers, one of the brothers were uh, going on a date. Oh, really? And I heard the uncle. Yeah, I heard the uncle say, you know, and the other wives wanted to dress him up. He wanted to wear his normal, his normal clothes, and they're like, no, we're going to dress you up. And he said something like, uh, they're going to try to put lipstick on a bear. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. And then I, you know, I threw the other part in there myself. But you can't put a collar on a dog. I don't know. <laughs> hey, um, did you play with uh, Richie Incognito in Buffalo a few years ago? Yeah, I played with him. I played with him. Uh, you know, interesting guy. You know, very intense, very different. Um, you know, so I can see why some of the things that they said are going on are going on, you know. You know, I, I actually believe everything that I hear and say when it comes down to that situation. Yeah. So, uh, and, and the reason uh, we're going to ask you about that is, uh, and I realize you're not going to admit that there's any hazing, but you guys have rituals with uh, with rookies. Is that right? No, we don't. You... Actually, we don't have any rituals. And from day one, um, from day one, Coach Harbaugh said no hazing of the rookies. Is you that know, right? He, he don't care what it is. He don't care throwing them in the swimming pool, ice tub, taping them up. There's absolutely no hazing. And, uh, you know, the veterans reinforced it, and we don't have it. Well, you, you wow. make them pay for dinner, though, right? Uh, yeah, we have, like, a rookie night. Yeah, with, right. You know, the rookie in that group. So, for example, we have Eric Reed, his first-round pick. Yeah. A lot of money. <laughs> what he We're going to take him out on a Friday, and he's going to pay for all the dinner and all the expenses for that night. Right. And right. it only happens once. There, you there know, you go. You don't go. do it multiple times, and you don't try to make the guy pay twenty thousand dollar tab. You make yeah. it reasonable. Yeah, but he's going to pay for that night. Hey, That's um, right. And speaking of Eric Reed, he comes in and he's uh, starting in the uh, defensive backfield as a rookie out of LSU. Uh, what has been your observation, your opinion of his play throughout the season so far? I think he's playing like a veteran. He's playing like a top safety in the National Football League. Of course, he has some things to improve on, some things to learn, but. You know, that's what I'm here for, to help him and to make sure that he knows these things and that he can go out there and perform. So, you know, we think that he's doing really good and uh, hopefully he continues to play the way he's playing. All right, uh, Dante, good luck this weekend. Uh, big, big game coming up against Carolina. Hey, and put a collar on that dog Sunday, <laughs> huh? I will put a collar on myself. <laughs> All right. uh, the Hitner, the Stripner, it's All right. Dante Whitner. Yeah, All right, All right take Dante. Care. Bye-bye. And the Pickner. <laughs> the Pickner, that's right. Ah, oh, that is funny. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.